hi everybody and welcome back to my channel so if you have seen the first video that me and the children and where we was introducing ourselves i did say that i'll be speaking more about hidden disabilities because that is the whole purpose of why we started this channel so as well as documenting our family life we're going to be talking more and sharing our journey me as their mum and the kids um sharing their journey with hidden disabilities so both Jaden and Imogen have hidden disabilities so we just want to highlight it so that others out there know that they're not alone there's other parents um going through similar and just to raise more awareness around hidden disabilities, there's not enough awareness, especially with autism. So the more we share our journey and speak about it, uh, the more people can accept it and understand it. So Jaden has a few diagnoses. So I'm only going to focus on his ADHD diagnosis today because that was the one that he was first diagnosed with when he was younger i didn't pick up on any concerns i had no concerns he was developing fine he was meeting his milestones babbling crawling everything he went to nursery he had a good uh he had good set of friends the only problem was that he sometimes find it, uh, found it hard to uh, transition away from me into nursery but other than that he was fine um i think all children find it hard sometimes they need to have a few transition days to get used to that new environment so for me it was just a typical thing um but when Jaden started primary school he was four when he started primary school and he settled well transition day was a little bit bumpy but other than that he was fine and then going into the term when we have our parents meetings um his teacher was a little bit concerned because Jaden was quite um accident prone he used to have a lot of accidents one of them ended up in um ended up being taken to A&E because he bashed his head so bad, but he would have accidents on a daily basis. Um, he was very fidgety. Um, he couldn't retain his attention for too long. Um, and he found it hard to focus and he would interrupt a lot. Um, I also did pick up on these things at home when we used to do homework and stuff. I just thought <laughs> he was being a typical child. He didn't want to do his homework. He was messing about, he was making up excuses. Um, he would interrupt quite a lot at home. He'd be hyper. Um, his sleep was disrupted sometimes. There was lots going on. So his teacher said, you know, we can make a referral because we feel that he needs to see like a paediatrician. Um, but they said to me, if I approach my doctor, it may happen quicker. So... I went and approached a doctor anyway and spoke about my concerns with the doctor. Um, I took Jaden with me and that day in the doctor's room, oh, he was climbing everywhere. He was touching everything. He was trying to go in the doctor's bag. He was trying to get in me and the doctor's face and interrupt while we was talking. So the doctor had a clear view of what was going on. And he said... Um, think your son has ADHD and I was like okay um he said we'll do a referral and paediatricians will contact you when I came out of the doctor's office and I went in the car I just cried my eyes out I was so so emotional I think it just took me back a bit because You just, that's your child. I don't think any parent wants to hear that their child could potentially be diagnosed with something. 
and it was a shock so I remember sitting there crying I had to ring my mum and I was I was just in shock I was upset and you're not thinking straight like you've just been told potentially this is what it is so cut a long story short a few months later we got um an appointment to go and see the pediatricians but it wasn't straightforward we had an initial assessment where they played with Jaden. they spoke to me and his dad they got some background information they wanted to know about his birth how he was as a toddler um how he was when he played and then they wrote a report and then we also had an educational psychologist come into school to visit him as well uh, they did a report collated all the information that they needed and then yeah they went into school a few times then we had follow-up appointments with the pediatricians but it was with different like play therapists and nurse and the last appointment we had it was about three hours long they played with him again ask questions background information school in house school um family relationships friendships how he likes to play what he likes to play dislikes they literally go through everything and we had a massive report it was about four pages long double-sided with their findings and what we discussed and then that then got passed on to us and I think all the information, so the observations from school, the Ed Sykes report, the findings from the appointments with the paediatric uh, nurses, the play therapist, that all went to the uh, paediatric doctor who was in charge, who looks over it. And then we had an appointment with her and she looked at all the information, the reports and said, you know, um, taking everything into account, I am going to diagnose Jaden today with a mild to moderate diagnosis of ADHD. Um, they also referred, because of like their findings, it showed he had um, a lot of sensory issues to do with food, sleep clothing so they made a referral to occupational therapy to be involved um we also had speech and language involved so there was a lot of um referrals to other services um but when we did get the diagnosis i think because i had come to terms with it when the doctor told me he thought that Jaden had ADHD it was more like a relief because I could associate his behaviours with the ADHD and I had more of an understanding of the behaviours why he was hyper why he was fidgety why he couldn't focus for too long so it gave me more of an insight um, the paediatrician we have is absolutely amazing um we got given just like a booklet for parents and carers and it was just information about ADHD and medication because eventually some people medicate their children um just to help with you know the hyperactivity attention and focus um and at that appointment, when she did diagnose him, he got diagnosed in March 2018. She said, you know, go away and think about if you would like to medicate him. I needed to do more research and find out if it would be right for Jaden to be medicated or not. Um, and eventually he did have to have medication because he was so hyper all the time. He was so active and on the go it's like he was just doing things at a thousand miles per hour and he couldn't slow down so the medication helped to keep him focused on his work and it helped to just calm him a little bit more the only thing the only thing that 
happened was, although it helped to keep him focused, balanced and, you know, um, retain his attention while he was at school, it affected his appetite. So as he's got older, um, we stopped the medication because he said, um, although it's helping me to remain calm and focus for longer, it's affecting um, how I eat. He wasn't very hungry at all. So um, I was glad that Jaden could actually advocate for himself and tell both me and his paediatrician that actually he no longer wants to take it because it's affecting him in this way. And she's absolutely happy with that. I'm happy with that. I want Jaden to be happy. And she said, um, it's trial and error. If he ever needs it again, he can have it. If he doesn't and we found other ways to help support him, then that's also good. Um, so, yeah, that is the backstory to um, his ADHD diagnosis. I will speak more um, in other videos about, you know, his speech and language and how they was involved. And I'll also speak about his autism diagnosis but because he was diagnosed with ADHD first I thought it was best to start there um, and explain our process with that so Jaden got diagnosed like I said before with ADHD in March 2018 he was seven at the time yeah he was seven at the time seven going on eight that year so that was one of his first diagnoses and from then on, we've had input from so many different um, services because obviously he has other diagnoses that other services deal with that his ADHD paediatrician doesn't. However, um, Jaden will be under his paediatrician until he's 18. So... Um, what's meant to happen is we're meant to see her twice a year that's either face to face or telephone consultation the last time we saw her face to face was just before lockdown um in it was february or march 2020 and then we had a telephone consultation in november 2020 and we haven't had anything since which is not very good but everything's blamed on covid putting things back so our next appointment is coming up soon we'll be able to see his paediatrician again because it's been a long time so lots to fill her up on and yeah we just have to wait for that appointment and see how it goes yeah so thank you everyone for listening and watching i hope this video has been useful i will be doing more videos like this to talk about the other diagnoses that Jaden has and i'll also be talking on other videos about Immy's diagnosis as well so if you like our content and want to stay tuned for more and follow our journey please 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 like subscribe and hit that notification bell take care everyone